Welcome to O'Reilly Maths. This is the 2022 Junior Cert Higher Level Paper 1 and we're looking at question number 12. The diagram below shows the circle K, not to scale, the points A, B and C lie on the circle. You can see them here. A, B is the diameter of the circle, this line, and then A, C is 8 centimetres. So that's all, all that information is on the diagram. The area of the circle K is 25 pi centimeters squared. Work out the smallest angle in the triangle ABC. Okay, so let's start with that. The smallest angle in the triangle will always be opposite the smallest side in the triangle. Now you can kind of see that this is the smallest angle here, but this is also the smallest side. So they're always opposite. The largest angle will be opposite the largest side. So we're looking for this angle, okay, that's what we want. Now, if we want that angle, <clears throat> um, it would be helpful if we could find some of the other angles in the triangle, that would certainly help. But we have to go with what information we have. Now, because AB is a diameter of the circle, see this bit of information here, because this AB is a diameter, there's an angle fact that you should know that when you've got a diameter of a circle and you've an angle standing on it, whereby the angle touches the perimeter of the circle, the circumference of the circle, well that always creates a 90 degree angle. So this angle here is 90 degrees. That's just a, uh, an angle fact you should know. It's a circle theorem. Um, so we know this is 90 degrees. So that helps because we now have a right-angled triangle here. Okay, now what's the other in bit of information we have? Well, the other bit of info we have is the area of the circle. So we're going to have to use this somehow. So the area of the circle K is 25 pi centimeters squared. So I know that the area of a circle from my tables book is pi or squared. That's, how we do. That's the formula for the area of a circle. It's in your tables book. And we know that the area of this circle is 25 pi centimeters squared. So if I let pi r squared equal to 25 pi, from this I'm able to work out or, because pi is a number that's common to both sides, and I could divide both sides by pi. So that tells me that r squared is 25 which means that or the radius is 5. Technically or would be plus or minus 5 but because we're talking about the radius it can only be positive so or is equal to 5. That means that this length here from here to here the radius of the circle is 5. See then and that means that this is another 5 cm. So we know from A to B is going to be 10 cm. So in this triangle here now we've got two sides and it's a right angle triangle so we can use Sokotoa to find this angle here. So I'll just draw a little sketch of the triangle over here. Okay so here's a smaller sketch of the same triangle. It's right angled. We know this side is 10, the two fives. We know this side is 8. And we're looking for this angle, which I'll call x. That's this angle here, x. I've just reproduced this triangle over here. Now, from the position of this angle here, what two sides have I got? Well, I've got the hypotenuse here, h. And I've got the adjacent. This side here is adjacent to x, so that's a. So if I think about my Sokatoa, the sin is the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cos is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And the tan of the angle is the opposite over the adjacent. And if I have a and h, it's going to be this ratio here that has a and h in it. So I can say that the cos of the angle x is equal to a over h, which is 
8 over 10. So that means that x, the angle, is equal to the inverse cos of 8 over 10. So you use the shift button there in your calculator, you press shift cos to get the inverse cos. And on our calculator then, we can work that out. So shift cos, press the fraction button, the calculator should open up the bracket for you and then you can close the bracket yourself. So that tells us that x, the angle, is equal to 36.869 degrees. Well, we can round that to one decimal place. They haven't specified any rounding, so we can just say it's 36.9 degrees. I'm sure you'd get full marks for saying 37 degrees, uh, but that's the size of the smallest angle. 